10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop-off orbit. Uh, moments ago, we've begun to throttle down our engines on the first stage in preparation for Max-Q. Uh, Max-Q is where the vehicle will experience the vehicle highest amount solid. of aerodynamic pressure. Max-Q. And we've just passed Max Q. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we'll have three events happening back to back. First is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, our first stage. It's gonna make its way back to Earth. Next event coming up is fairing deploy. Should happen just a few seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. Now the satellites on the second stage, um, we're sending 60 more up there to join the, existed, the existing 750. So. After today's mission, we'll have 800 Starlink satellites up there. The satellites will stay powered down until after stage separation, uh, until after they separate from the second stage. Everything's looking great on our second stage. The view is of the Merlin vacuum engine and its thrust cone. Uh, that engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. So now for the second stage, we're waiting for second engine cutoff before entering a coast phase. Eco expect, expect a loss of signal, Cape. Waiting for call out of good orbit. We did see that we had second engine cut off and we did get call out for a nominal insertion. First stage will execute two burns in order to make its way back towards Earth. First stage is what you see on the left hand side of your screen. Uh, the first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. Three Merlin engines have relit and are now slowing the first stage down before they hit the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. We're about 30 seconds away from the beginning of our second and final burn. Um, during this burn, the four landing legs stage stowed at the base of the first stage will also deploy right before we land. This final burn should last about 22 seconds. Let's see if we can uh, stage one landing burn land this first stage for the sixth time. Terminal guidance. There's a few of our drone ship. Like 
and right down the middle, Falcon 9 has landed. And the 32nd time we've landed on this particular drone ship, uh, of course, I still love you. We're going to take a short break, but leave you with an animation that shows you where we're at in the coast phase. Welcome back to the webcast for our 14th Starlink mission. Restart ignition confirmed. Elemental orbit insertion. And that's what we needed to hear, a good orbital insertion. Now the second stage is going to coast once again for the next 18 minutes. Welcome back once again to the webcast for Starlink mission. Uh, the second stage has been spinning along its central axis. And now you can see on screen the satellites are slowly separating from the second stage. Uh, shortly they will deploy their solar arrays and over the next few weeks distance themselves from one another and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way back to their make their way to their operational orbit. Starlink deploy confirmed. Uh, that's a very cool shot. And with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. Again, if you are interested in getting future news about our Starlink service, head on over to starlink.com and sign up for updates. Um, thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of the Sunday, everyone.